Millions of people are tuning in to watch March Madness. But there was one basketball game played in the Metro tonight that no one really watched. It won't bust your bracket, but it will bridge gaps in our community. Ronnell Hatchett does not mince words. Before I came here, I didn't, you know, I didn't really like cops, so. But for four years, he's been coming here to the Police Athletic League, or PAL, after school basketball program. He knows where he would be without it. Probably homeless, uh, on that street right now, selling drugs, probably. Tonight is a special night for Ronnell and the hundred or so kids who attended tonight. Peace Players International is an organization that provides skills to deal with conflict around the world. For the first time, they're working with the police department. On the heels of the Ferguson protests, there's no better time than for police and the community to find a way to work together. When we build that relationship with the kids, then we're able to take that and you know build that within their own homes, and they become our biggest allies, really. And so, you know, it bridges, bridges that gap. Bridging a gap and building relationships for kids like Ronell, who at times could really use it. At one point, I didn't have a dad, so you know they, they came, you know, try to teach me some of what life life lessons that I didn't know. You know, try to help me, you know, stay on the right track. Peace Players International uses basketball to strengthen relationships. They have been doing it in countries familiar with conflicts, such as Israel, South Africa, Northern Ireland, and Cyprus.